Mitigating flood risk for some of the UK's most vulnerable low-lying areas is all in a day's work for the people at Bam Nuttall. Achieving complex engineering challenges is one thing, but doing it in a sustainable way is another. Vincent McAvinney went to see how this company is addressing the challenges of climate action. It's our values, our skills, our experience that means our partners trust us. For example, the work in Antarctica with British Antarctic Survey, where we're delivering work in the most environmentally sensitive part of the world. We are remodelling the research stations down there so that British scientists can continue that important work on global warming. I've been there myself and it's a stunning place, but in the summer down there you can see it's warming up. The glacier that we walked up was probably a quarter the size that it was when British Antarctic Survey started down there. So what that does is it gives us an insight into how important this is. And when we talk about carbon embedment, you know, in projects like this here, it's a significant issue for us. We're here in Lincolnshire, a low-lying county on the east coast of England, where climate change and sea level rise is a major concern. Back in 2013, over 800 homes and businesses up the river in Boston were flooded by a tidal surge. But now, thanks to a 100 million pound tidal barrier being constructed here, that shouldn't be a problem for the next 100 years. Amnuttall has been working collaboratively with the Environment Agency on site for over three years. We've got a primary uh, flood defence barrier that sat recessed in the riverbed, about 300 tonnes. Um, it's operated off these two hydraulic rams and what they do is they pull the barrier up into a vertical position to produce that flood wall. That stops the east coast tidal inundation storm surge coming up the haven and then what it does is it prevents it then progressing further down the haven into Boston town centre to prevent that flooding from occurring. Further up the coast, here in Hull, Bam Nuttall is working on two projects. These flood defences here on the River Hull that runs through the city and out on the Humber estuary. After London, this city is the second most at risk from flooding in the UK. Bam's Kate Sellers is managing the multi-site river project. The River Hull is predominantly industrial, so there's a lot of private landowners. So there's been a lot of communication with landowners to gain access and get them on board with the design so they understand what we're doing, why we're doing it. We've left all the defences in place, all the existing defences, so that we've always had a flood defence there because there's always that risk that there could be a flood event during the construction period. And we've either built in front of the defence, so if we've been piling, that's in front of the, the defence, or we do a setback defence, so we move behind the existing defence and raise the ground, so that can be obviously a raised concrete slab, or a small um, brick or concrete wall. Out on the Humber, Andy Vipass is leading the team building seven kilometres of tidal flood defence walls with integrated glazing. Combined with Kate's river improvements, this should protect over 113,000 homes and businesses from the effects of climate change for the next 200 years. When we come onto a scheme, we're able to bring knowledgeable people, um, a trained workforce, a competent workforce who are able to come onto a site and, and look at ideas and, and try and adapt and provide solutions which work for the area. One of the key areas that we worked at Humber Frontages is looking about reducing carbon and through this we looked at using brick slips which takes a normal house brick and we're able to cut this in half and use two, two faces uh, and essentially reduce the number of bricks by half. On this project we're looking at saving about 250,000 bricks which obviously has a, a cost benefit but also reduces our carbon on the scheme. Innovative solutions like these are why Bam Nuttall are one of the few organisations included in the CDP Climate A-List Leadership Index, meaning they can be trusted to sustainably deliver projects from Antarctica to protecting Britain's coastal settlements.